I record this shit again, because I fucked it all up. Cut my hair, people. Look at that. Huh? Yeah. Korean gangster or backorder Chinese cook. <laughs> Hello. Hey, what is going on, YouTube? Now, growing up when I was a kid, I got my ass beat all the time. And honestly, if you're Asian, you know what I'm talking about. Ah, the death threats. Now, most of the time when I got my ass beat, it was usually because of three reasons. One, I thought I was smarter than my parents. No, they got so. This is just a dream. Two, I would talk back for no reason. I see you. Three, I would lie for no reason. 2.7 GPA is good. Here's the thing, every kid who got their ass beat growing up tried to do this at least once in their life. And what's that you are? It's the I stood up to my parents because I said I wasn't gonna take their shit anymore. Now has it worked out for any kid? <laughs> never. But nobody told us that shit growing up. We thought we were fucking geniuses. Like no more. And they were just gonna be like, I didn't know you paired that way. That didn't happen no. So let me tell you about the first and last time I ever stood up to my parents. Now these type of ideas don't come out of nowhere. And I got this idea from a commercial. I was in junior high at the time. I was at home watching TV. And I remember the first time that commercial ever came on. It was all black and wide and super dramatic and there was a moment right before he was about to get the shit slapped out of him it said child abuse you don't have to take it when i saw that you know what i thought to myself Bitch, i don't have to take it at that very moment because of that commercial i was empowered but I fucked up on something, my dad got really pissed off at me, and I decided I was gonna use the card. I run to my room all pissed off, I slam the door, my dad opens up that door and says, you're dead! And then suddenly, the commercial popped in my head, and I don't know what came about me. Suddenly, the Holy Spirit of dumbass took over, and I said, that's child abuse, I don't have to take it! At that moment, when those words flew out of my mouth, I looked at my father, and there was a look on his face I had never seen before. He stood there, exhaled and walked right outside my room. And at that very moment, I'll tell you right now, I thought I fucking won. I was like, this motherfucker commercial was right. I ain't gonna take shit no more. Shit, I was like, we're not gonna take it. Or at least that's what I fucking thought. As I was fucking dancing to myself like, ah, I won. I heard my fucking door bust open and I turned around all slow-mo and shit like. <laughs> My dad was so fucking angry, he didn't leave the room because he thought that he learned something new. He left the room to go grab a bigger stick to whoop my fucking ass with. This fool came back with a lead pipe the size of Shaq's dick. Motherfucker swung that shit like he was trying to kill me. I ducked, and right when I did, he shattered a shelf right behind my ass. And trust me, at that very moment, I knew I fucked up. Ah, the death threats. I remember I had my mouth open and I looked into his eyes and right when he looked into mine, he said, that's a child abuse. Stupid ass fucking commercial. 